Well, did you know this is National Youth Violence Prevention Week? Lexington Mayor Linda Gordon tried to raise awareness today. Two mothers of young victims of gun violence joined her to share their stories today. Angie Bevan is here now in the studio with the message they are trying to send in tonight's Big Story at 5. Well, that message that they want to send is simply put the guns down and end the violence. And Mayor Gordon, along with gun violence prevention advocates and those mothers who have lost children, are all hoping to get the message out, especially ahead of the end of the school year and the start of summer. If anyone can tell you the pain of losing someone to gun violence, it's a mother who's lost a child because of it. I think about the incident that night every single day. Um, it replays in my mind. Priscilla Sandifer's daughter, Amaya Taylor Sandifer, was home from college last May when she became an innocent bystander shot and killed. She was so close to graduating. Um, she would have turned 21 uh, in August. Also at today's youth violence prevention event was Dina Howard. Her son, Sean Howard, was shot and killed in 2017 when he was 19 years old. He was shot and killed in a car. He was not the intended target. The pain these women share is the driving force behind their advocacy and their willingness to try and make a difference. I want to see kids graduating and celebrating life and not worrying about if somebody's going to come to their party and cause an incident with guns. Mayor Linda Gordon and all of the advocates present hope spreading the message like they are today can make an impact. I am calling on all young people in Lexington to honor the young lives we have already lost and the families that continue to grieve. I ask young people to put down your guns. The mayor did, however, share some encouraging numbers, saying from 2021 through the first quarter of 2023, Lexington has seen a 75 percent decrease in gun related homicides among youth and young adults. A trend these mothers whose lives are forever changed. I call this my new life now. Amaya was my only child. Want to see continue. Put these guns down. You're not doing anything. You're running two families, yours and then families like mine. The case of Amaya Taylor Sandifer from last May is still open. There have been no arrests. Sean Howard's case from 2017 went to trial. The 17 year old who was charged with murder was acquitted. Now, as I mentioned in my report, violence among teenagers and young adults has fallen in Lexington. There are a lot of people to credit for some of those changes. LEX 18 Sydney Darden met up with one organization to talk about some of the programs they have to keep kids off the street. She continues our big story team coverage. Yeah, not only did the kids here help paint this mural, but Urban Impact helped paint a different picture for them of what life could be like if they stay on the right path. That guidance certainly helped Chloe Martin when she attended Urban Impact as a child. Or how do you think your life would have been different had you not had like Urban Impact in your life? Uh, I, I can tell you exactly where I would be. I would be a hot mess. It has offered me so much opportunity. Now as the current leadership coordinator, uh, she works to, to help kids the same way. In 2022, Martin says Urban Impact started a leadership academy specifically designed to mentor perpetrators and victims of gun violence ages 12 to 24. You can choose something other than a weapon and other than violence and you can, you know, build yourself up and build that. These small changes made a big impact. This month, Mayor Linda Gordon reported a 75% decrease in gun violence among young people over the past two years. But still, Martin says Urban Impact lost 12 of their own students to gun violence, motivating them to continue their work. It's riddled our community with a lot of uh, sadness, but it's also given us um, almost a, a bigger fire, you know, to come alongside people and, and do what we love to do already. Helping kids through hard todays to get to better and safer tomorrows. In Lexington, Sydney Darden, LEX 18 News. And we want to remind you that you can find all of today's reporting plus details on the group violence intervention program that we told you about on Monday. That's, of course, all up on our website, lex18.com. Larry and Nancy, back to you. Yeah, great reports. Thanks so much, Angie.